Gas prices are slowing and slowly creeping higher, I should say, <laughs> now sitting at $3.80 a gallon here in the U.S. And with a new Wall Street Journal poll showing just 37 percent approve of President Biden's handling of the economy, could this spell trouble for his upcoming re-election campaign? Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman joins us with the details. Hey, Rick. Hey, guys. I think President Biden has to be pretty worried about gasoline prices. Uh, one reason is that we are seeing oil prices go higher uh, and they seem likely to go higher still for uh, reasons that President Biden can't really control. Uh, Saudi Arabia has done a big um, production cut. Um, Russia also uh, has cut production. And both of those countries have said they're going to continue those production cuts through the end of the year, suggesting perhaps they could continue them into 2024. Uh, so we're now seeing oil around uh, 85 bucks a barrel. And I'm seeing some uh, some projections saying it could go to the mid 90s and even up to one hundred dollars per barrel. And that's just because of the global market dynamics for uh, for oil. The last time we had oil at one hundred dollars per barrel, U.S. gasoline prices were around four dollars and 40 cents. Uh, and I think for President Biden, any any gasoline price that starts with a four is just bad news because that, uh, as we all know, gas prices uh, punch above their weight in terms of con in terms of consumer psyches, and when you start to see gasoline prices to start with a four, that just signals that something is wrong, and it bums people out. So uh, this is something I think the White House is paying ex extremely close attention to, and there's not a lot that Biden will be able to do if gas prices get out of control again in 2024, when we're really in the in the thick of the uh, the next presidential election. Rick, I was just out on the West Coast. Forget about a four. Ah. <laughs> it's five out there. That was, uh, you yeah. know, they, they, they do things differently out there um, for a variety of different reasons. Um, but in any case, you talked about his lack of control. He has some control at the margins, right, when you're talking about things like the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, et cetera. Like, are, are there sort of little things he can do and how aggressively, uh, the closer to the election that we get, do you think he's going to be? Well, Biden did tap the uh, U.S. Petroleum Reserve last year. He drew down 180 million barrels. Uh, and the U.S. Reserve is now at the lowest level, uh, I think, since 1983. Um, that is supposed to be an emergency reserve, for, you know, for things like if a hurricane comes through and knocks out uh, refineries or something like that, or if there's some, uh, you know, ge geopolitical emergency, that is not supposed to be uh, you know, just to lower gas prices and cut consumers a break. So Biden, I guess he could draw that down further, but I think that that would generate um, uh, a lot of criticism that he's sort of abusing the strategic reserve. Another thing that the Biden administration is doing pretty quietly uh, is kind of making some tacit deals with unfriendly nations that happen to be oil suppliers. So Venezuela, for example, last year, uh, the Biden administration changed the sanctions regime on Venezuela a little bit so they can import more oil to the United States. Um, there have also been some kind of behind the scenes uh, negotiations with Iran uh, with regard to their nuclear deal and the sanctions uh, in there. That and, and Iran has actually been producing more oil, putting it into the global market. They're not necessarily selling it to the United States, but any any additional oil that goes into, goes into the global market uh, will help keep prices down. And then there's also this um, price cap again, uh, on Russian oil, and there have been some calls to lower that price cap uh, to further punish Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. And it seems there's no chance that uh, the Biden administration is going to try to lead the big nations known as the G7 to lower that price cap because that could mean less Russian oil. So there are things you're not seeing that the Biden administration is doing to try to keep oil supply going. And one last thing I'll mention, here in the United States, we're probably going to see a new high, uh, a record high in terms of U.S. oil production. And that's not because of anything the government's doing. That's just private sector producers saying uh, prices are high, so we want to pump more because we're going to make money off of it. But it remains an open question whether that, all of that will be enough to keep uh, gasoline prices in the comfort zone here. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Rick, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And you can Bye, read guys. more uh, on this story on yahoofinance.com.